Hello, it's your boy David. Up, welcome back to another Arsenal vlog. After the weekend, we obviously we won two 0 Should have been more. A bit frustrating, of course. You're not going to get that many chances in big games, especially against Tottenham on the weekend. So we got to do better for a goal. But we did win the game. Got the job done. Got a clean sheets. Hopefully, the same thing today. Hopefully, we can just win the game today. That's that's what we need. We have got Tottenham next. Then, uh, then I think it's United after Stade Rene as well. United, we've got Tottenham, Stad Rene, United, Stad Rene, I think that's how it goes. So it's going to be tough, but I think we can do it and hopefully we can actually um, get a win tonight first, which is important. Anyway, I'm out at like 2.30 in the afternoon over here. Um, I'm going to the cinema. I kind of messed up though because I'm already tired. I was tired at 11am actually. I'll explain. Uh, I was up to like 7am uploading a video. Um, I was trying to wait for it to... Uh, to export to my files, then upload it. Took until 7 a.m. on Monday. Went to sleep. Uh, then I thought I could fix my, I could fix my sleeping pattern. So the plan was to set no alarm, set no alarms. I woke up at 4 p.m. on Monday. Um, stayed up all night. Uh, Tuesday half seven in the in the evening. So that's a lot of hours up. I fell asleep. Then on Wednesday I woke up at 3 a.m. Yep, 3 a.m. Didn't quite work out. I was meant to work up at like six or seven, but yeah, that went horribly wrong. So uh, now I'm very tired. I was already tired at, at, at eleven, so I had like an eight-hour sleep, and I was so tired at eleven already. So it's now two thirty. I'm going to the game tonight. No sleep, not enough sleep. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep at the game. That that'd be great. I'll probably be standing up there the whole time because I'm sitting in the corner where everyone stands up. So. Should be good. Just been to the cinema to see a movie, fight with my family to be specific, and yeah, that was a, it was pretty good. All right, so uh, my train got cancelled, and the next train was like 40 minutes away, so I went for a bus instead. And bus takes a lot longer, so I just I was gonna go into Tesco to get some food. Then I thought I get some of the food at the Emirates anyway. I get it near the Emirates. That'd be better. So I thought I'd just get on a bus and go. And uh, there was a lot of traffic. And on top of that, about. 10 minutes into the journey, the driver, not the driver, the announcement said that the bus is uh, terminating early for some reason. It's just stopping early. Luckily, there was about four buses behind it, uh, different numbers, but there was one that I needed to get. There was another bus that goes straight to like, straight to the Emirates. So I got on that bus and it was all sorted, except there was more traffic and now it's seven o'clock. A bit later than I usually get here, but anyway, I need some food. So before I watch the AFC, I'm gonna get some KFC. My favorite part of supermarkets not the food not all the groceries this <laughs> all the movies i love this section snake and a compton what on earth okay then jurassic galaxy i feel like it's a it's a, it's a parody of uh of, <laughs> of jurassic park Okay then. Apparently that's good. I need to see that. Thinking of actually uh, buying Venom, but not today. I don't know why, but I always go in there to the movie section. I look through. Most of the time, I buy nothing. 
most of the time about nothing. Sometimes I actually do get, get something because I, I want to get something. But I always like go in there, browse through, buy nothing, come home. Like I, I don't know why I do it, but I do it. I'm obsessed. Oh great, the lift is broken down again. There's a today thing as well. It's been working for a month. This was not working for like two months. We got it working again, it stopped, started again, now it's not working again, great. Something uh, ironic actually, um, that lift that's constantly breaking, the one that's always working on the right, I got stuck in it last year. That's a bit ironic, isn't it? Because the other one always breaks down, but I got stuck in the other one for an hour. I'm stuck in the lift. In my own home. I'm nearly home. Stuck in the lift. Great. Just give us uh, a few minutes, we're gonna uh, lower you down. Alright. It was like midnight, I was coming in from the O2 arena, got stuck in the lift. I was so close to home, stuck in the lift for an hour. Unbelievable. If you didn't know, I actually like to keep a collection of uh, movies uh, in general that I just watch and like. There's uh, most of them. As you can see, I'm a bit of a uh, madman with these movies. I get them all off uh, Asda or Amazon. And yeah, there's a lot there. There's uh, every Marvel movie from the universe, every uh, every DC one apart from Justice League because I didn't want to buy that one, and Aquaman, which is not out yet. So yeah, every every Rocky movie, all six of them, Creed, every Rambo, um, Dark Knight trilogy, gotta love that. James Bond, every single one. Got all of them. I got one big box set up to like uh, Quantum of Solace, I think, and then I got Skyfall and Spectre. So that's just some of them, by the way. Got, got, got. No, I mean that's most of them. But I mentioned some of them. But anyway, this is about Arsenal. I got carried away here for some reason. I just felt like going to Asda. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun day. I'm, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. It was a fun. It was a fun night. Apart from the goal we conceded. Um, for the most part, we played well. Apart from like the end of the first half, that was a bit shaky. But overall, great performance. Uh, we all round we played quite well. And uh, yeah, a well-deserved victory. Um, we did pretty well. Uh, atmosphere was pretty good as well. In in the corner that I was in, I was surrounded by some great Arsenal fans. Very vocal, very loud, and I loved it. It was a great atmosphere in our corner. When Ozil scored the first goal, it was electric. Started seeing we got Ozil just ringing around the stadium. It was an amazing atmosphere. Even when like Lacazette and Ramsey were warming up, they got chance towards them as well. It, it, it was it was great. I want to see that more in more games. I feel like most games are a bit too quiet. But apart from the big games, but um, yeah, we, just, we played well. Urza scored the first goal, it was a good goal as well. Um, Mkhitaryan scored the second goal, Urza assist, great great pass from him as well. Great play, good move, took advantage of a uh, Bournemouth mistake as well. And yeah, good second goal. And then Bournemouth scored, um, that goal was, I don't know what happened really, I need to watch it back, but it looked like a foul. It looked like, it looked like a foul on an Arsenal player. It wasn't given, and that's the thing. There was no whistle, it wasn't given, our defenders just stopped, I don't know why, but they, I mean, they thought they were going to get a free kick, but they stopped, Bournemouth played on and scored deservedly, so there's that, but I don't see how it was a foul, I just, I mean, I, wait, what? I think it was a foul, is what I meant to say, I said, I said that the wrong way around, but yeah, whatever, that's just what it is. Then after that goal, we actually struggled a bit, um, I don't know why, because we played so well up to that point. But for some reason, for like 10 minutes, we were just all over the place, giving the ball away. But we survived. We stayed ahead. Second half, much better. Straight away, scored. Because um, Shelney scored. Two couple of deflections. I think still his goal. I was still on target. But I hit the defender, hit the post. And hit the keeper, I think. But I still think it was going in anyway. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was a good goal from Koscielny. Um He played well as well. He played, he played pretty well. Um, made a couple very good blocks in front of in front of goal he was he was brilliant um especially in the first half first up leno made a great save leno was good as well he made some good saves in this game he's definitely getting better and better his first half save leno was brilliant then like a second later kashani putting his body on the line just sliding in and it was just a perfect block it was it was brilliant it was getting so celebrated as well because she only played well today I, I gotta say um he also got injured as well towards the end he went down pretty badly then he was limping the whole time towards the end of the game. We used all our subs, 5-1 up. And I just thought like, we're 5-1 up. There was like two minutes left of stoppage time. And he was just limping around, just put him off. We can survive a 10 minute, 5-1 up. Yeah, but yeah, there's that. Uh, I hope he's all right though, it looked pretty serious. But he, he, was, he was on his feet. That's, that's a good sign, right? At least I hope it is anyway. Um, uh, hopefully we're ready for, we're ready for Saturday. Um, and then the fourth goal, 
It wasn't favourite goal. Favourite goal for sure. Mikitarian. I don't know where where has this guy been all season? Like he was playing well today and I was like Where have you been then? Because when he's been playing this season he's not been good. He's not been good, but today he has been good. And I'm and I'm glad he is. I'm glad he is playing well now, he's playing better. And I was just thinking, watch watching his that watching that run. He was basically in his own half, he made a really good run, played a great ball forward to Bama Yang who found the keeper and finished it. But what an assist from Mkhitaryan, like where was this Mkhitaryan all season? And then to put the icing on the cake and the cherry on top, Alex Lacazette free kick into the corner, that was really good as well. I was behind that goal too, just to the right, so that was, it was a perfect angle for me to see. And it was brilliant, it was just it was just really, really good. And yeah, I really like how we're playing like good, good, good balls forward now. Like it seems to be more direct now, which is really good. Like it's, it's, it's really good how we're like just uh, making strikers make runs putting a ball over the top or through the middle and it worked against Bournemouth it really did we haven't done I meant I heard someone around me saying like we haven't done that since Van Persie really um, but playing some good balls uh, through putting balls through to Van Persie to, for him to finish it we haven't been doing that much uh, since Van Persie so yeah a fan mentioned that around me and I was like yeah yeah it's kind of true so it's, it's good to see that I mean now we've got runners now like Bam Yang and Lacazette they can actually make runs I and mean, we, made, we made quite a few balls Lacazette went through on goal as well again a great ball over the top he controlled it he forced a save as well so yeah much more clinical today more goals and doing better with our chances um, and yeah just all around good performance it is Bournemouth to be fair but still it's, it, it kind of reminds me of um, last year actually when we beat Huddersfield 5-0 uh, that was a great game too. Urza was at, at the heart of that one as well. Uh, but yeah, this was just like one of those like good performances. Just one of those fun games to watch Arsenal play. Like when on our day we can play some good football. Anyway, we've got some momentum now. Uh, two wins, well three wins, including Barte. If you want to count Barte, uh, now we've got Tottenham away. So on Saturday, they've lost two 0 to Chelsea. Massive game. If we beat them, we're a point behind. Um, bring it on. Bring it on. So yeah, some of you are probably a bit confused, like uh, I clicked for an Arsenal vlog and he's talking about movies for like two minutes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just got carried away I guess. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. But um, yeah, um, a bit of bad news though for me. There's no water from 9am. No supply of water. No taps. So that means no, no showers. No, uh, no washing of hands. No going to the toilet because there's no flushing. I mean I can go to the toilet but if you don't flush, it's just gonna it's just gonna stink, innit? I, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be the whole day of no water. Great. Gonna have to go to Asda. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Asda, go to the toilet, look at movies for like five minutes, then come back. Do that about ten times a day. Well, for one day, not ten times a day, just one day. Anyway, it's, it's one day. I can live with one day. This is your boy. That that is a lion, by the way. He's he's sulking now. He's clearly, I, I, I don't know what he is, but he's just, whatever. Uh, this was your boy Davidoff. I sound like a madman here. If, if you're new here, I used to do like skits with this guy, just doing a random voice. It was kind of funny. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.